All right, not only are we experimenting with baits this morning, we're going to use some night crawlers on the bottom. We've got, uh, what else we got, David? Chad? We got yellowtail shad minnows. Cool, and we've got Peter. Peter, turn around and say good morning. Good morning. There's a, got my son-in-law, Peter, with us this morning. We're at one of our usual spots down on the Pickwick side of the river. Uh, Pickwick's down a little bit. Still a lot of rocks under the water. And uh, we're going to be right below Wilson Dam. We're going to what we call the round hole. See if we can't get a, uh, a bigger catfish than what David did the other day. Temperature this morning was 67 degrees. And uh, believe it or not, the barometer was at 30 inches this morning and steady. No rain called for the next seven days. So let's see what we can do today and we'll be back. Stay tuned for more of the David Martin Catfishing King Show. Mike has beat me to the first fish. But I gotta get him in the boat to make a count. Well, true. He's shaking his head. If it's a drum, I'm going home going back to bed. You need the net? I can't tell you yet. I caught him so early. Five bucks for me to bend over and get yeah, the, net. the net. Hey, that's a good catfish. Yeah, I'll spend the five bucks. Okay. Good job. Man, that, that's a good way to start the morning, isn't it? Yeah. So we don't get tangled up. So we can get some pictures and video today. All right. But my goal today to eat is smaller than this. I don't know. That would make some nice fillets right there. That right? would. Right. Actually. Nice, pretty clean catfish. I let Mike catch the first fish. He did. You know. All right, Peter with first hookup this morning on a whole shad. Do you feel pretty good, Peter? Yep. Let him come up. Let him fight. This feels like a real fish. It looks like it anyway, Ben, in that rod. That, that's a pretty stiff rod. Yeah, just, yeah, just don't horse him yet. <laughs> don't break him off. No, oh. Yeah, he's he's not liking that boat. All right, now lift him just a little bit. It's not slipping. That might be a pretty good fish. Oh, big bubbles. Gas, gas. He's a good one. He just lost 10 pounds of shad. Is he a good one? Oh, he is a good one. All right, Peter. Peter scored. Is that your biggest cat? Is that your personal best, your PB? Yeah. All right, Peter. Hey, David, you want to get a picture of him with that fish? All right. Peter with the big blue. You have to bounce it. You want to take it under and hold it. He's playing with it. There you go. Oh, you missed. Too much slack. What is that came up there? That was the a gar. That's a big gar. That is a big gar. I've got him. All right. Stay on that big gar. That broke my line. Did it? Well, that's pulling you that way. I've got the anchor out, plus I'm hung on the bottom rig, so. He's a couple of pounds, maybe. He's not that big. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think you just got him. I think you lassoed him. Yeah, I think uh oh, you David's playing cowboy. Look at this. Hang on, we may not have to dip him. Cool. You got him hooked and lassoed? Yeah. Uh -oh. No! He didn't want that. Well, I, didn't I, I was going to just scoop him. <laughs> I didn't want to release him anyway. Yeah. I mean, Keep him anyway. We just want to get a picture. He's going to send him home. That was fun. That was fun. All right, let's see. I don't think he's very big, but he's fish. 
good fish. Boy, he's roughed up. Look at that. Somebody crocked got him. Look that rough. Off. He was a rough looking one. I wonder what roughed him up. Well, you didn't have to turn him loose. No, I didn't. But uh, I tell you what, he was roughed up. Something hit him. I don't know <laughs> if it didn't look like a prop, it did. Tennessee River Cats. I like this. He got that That's a quick one, too. Get this Georgia boy over here. See there you go. Oh, that's a good fish, Dave. Is it? Yeah, it's a good fish. A seven or eight pounder. Yeah, Peter threw that one in and he hit about the time. Woohoo! Yeah, Peter. Look at that. Got another good, good job, Peter. All right. All right. Fine fish. Hold that boy. Good. Put him in the trees. Hold that boy up there. Yeah, good fish. Good fish. We're gonna get some. He's not a fighter. Is this a dip netter? I don't think he's. He's not. All right. Did I snare it? No. We've caught fish I, now. I, that's about the boy. That's an eating size that's there, isn't size. it? I thought I snagged it for a minute. Now this is a shad head, correct? Correct. All right. So we've caught on the shad head. There it is. And we've caught on brim. Thank you, Lord, for a beautiful day. Thank you for another safe day with David out on the water. Catching some good fish. Peter with the with the Tennessee River catfish on the Pickwick side of the world. And just all the beautiful birds we've seen today. It's just, I don't know guys, it's just hard to get any prettier than this. Isn't it? Well, hey everybody, Mike Adams here. I'm with our guide, David Martin over here, the David Martin. Yeah. yeah. David is not a guide, I'm kidding. David is just a good friend of ours, family friend. We go out fishing quite a bit. And I have my son-in-law over from Georgia today, Peter Schumacher. Peter uh, Peter caught his first Tennessee River catfish today, and I tell you what, he schooled hey, us. Yeah, he done good. He beat, what, he schooled us. five or six, six. seven? Yeah. Five something. Five, five and uh, and I tell you what, we uh, we lost some fish today. It was a little slow today. There wasn't a lot of current. There was no wind. There was a little skim on the water. We did get blown out of the hole one time by a barge locking through, and we thought it might turn well, out. It, it was fun. It was a uh, a good day fishing. A really good day fishing anyway. Peter, what you think about fishing below that hundred year old concrete? Well, that was pretty good. That was fun. <laughs> pretty straight up, dude. Oh, it was. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, we did not take Peter across the rapids. So we didn't. So we, we didn't want. Maybe the next rapids. time we'll get to experience yeah, yeah. that. Well, you guys can tell me how it is because I'm not going back across it <laughs> at all. David brought bait, Dayton, and uh, um, he cut some bait up for us, and he dipped fish for us. And, Drove down here and pulled fish out of the live well for us. And he, brought believe drinks. it or not, and he brought drinks. Uh, and believe it or not, he usually fillets them, but we're going to fillet them here in just a few minutes. It's going to be old fashioned today. My, my electric knife quit, so we're going to have to do it the old fashioned way today. But we're going to put a few fish in the freezer and uh, we're going to get back after them. I think we're going to try to catch some bait tonight and uh, see what other kind of trouble we can get into. But, Guys, thank you for going out. Peter, yep. congrats. Nice fish. David, as always, thank you, buddy. All right. Always enjoy it. Hey, it's we're cold. Out.